Welcome to Spring Creek Church of the Brethren and to our virtual love feast. I'm Pastor Adam Alm. Our love feast, feet washing, communion is a special part of our life as followers of Jesus. This meal is our attempt to reflect the agape meals of the early church. When they met to remember Jesus' life, his teachings, his death, and his resurrection, they did so around the table. They shared food, they shared fellowship, they shared service, and they shared worship. They reminded one another of the love that had been shown in Jesus the Christ. In this virtual love feast experience, you will find instructions for your own time of reflecting on the life, the death, and the resurrection of Christ. We believe that being uh, together in community is an important aspect of our life as followers of Jesus. We also recognize that our experience of community can come in different forms. And sometimes because of factors beyond our control, there are reasons why we are unable to gather with the community of faith. So whether you are by yourself or with family or with uh, a small group of friends, I invite you into this time of contemplation, thanksgiving, and worship. Before we go any further, if you haven't already, there are a few items that you need to get together uh, before we go any further. And so you can pause the video and collect the supplies that you'll need. This virtual love feast is intended to guide you through your celebration of the feet washing, uh, the table fellowship meal, and communion as we celebrate together. My hope is that you will read the scriptures provided, you will sing along with the songs, and reflect on Christ's sacrifice for you. You can take as much time as you need, and so feel free to pause rewind or fast forward the video as you need. Before we start, let's pray together. Holy God, we thank you for the life of your one and only Son, Jesus. We thank you for sending him to show us your loving heart. As we enter into this special time, may we be reminded of the good news of Jesus' life, his teachings, his death in the place of sinners, his resurrection, and the promise of resurrection and new life for those that are in you. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you would remind us of the great cloud of witnesses that has taken part in agape meals over the centuries and has shared the bread and cup of communion since that first last supper. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.
this is holy ground we're standing on holy ground for the lord is present and where he is is holy
Love Feast is important to me because of the fellowship within our community, and then my favorite part of Love Feast is the convenient bread. The most important thing to me about Love Feast is the fellowship with everyone from the church, and my favorite part is the soup and the bread. <laughs> So I was asked to talk about Love Feast and to talk about why it's important to me and what my favorite part is. So it's important to me for a few different reasons. The first is I love talking with others. I'm super extroverted um, and I love to be with others, to talk with others, to figure out what they're doing, just to hear about people's lives and catch up a little bit. And I also love that you never know who you're going to sit next to or across from. Um, it was different from when I was younger, but now that I'm older, it's sort of, you know, you sit wherever. Um, so it's just a lot of fun to be able to sit next to somebody and just, you know, talk and communicate and have a really nice conversation. And then my favorite part of the night is the food. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely the best part. Super yummy, super delicious, the best food, hands down. Sacrificial service for the good of others. Following Jesus surrounded by the community of faith. Gathering around the table to remember the good news of Jesus. This is part of what makes our love feast such a, a special part of our life at Spring Creek and our life as followers of Jesus. My hope is that as you read scripture, as you meditated on the questions and the meaning of the service, as you washed hands or feet, as you ate the meal, as you shared in communion, that you felt drawn closer to a God who loves you beyond measure. I hope too that you felt drawn to the community of faith as well. We look forward to a time where we can celebrate this meal together and we look forward to a time when we can celebrate the, the completed version at the wedding feast of the Lamb, King Jesus. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace until our Savior comes or until we meet again.